Hello everyone, this is May Darlene reporting and welcome back to Simulacra. Alright, we are going to do a couple of things here. Ugh, first of all, I'm going to get myself comfortable. And the other thing is that we're going to talk to Greg really quick. You're not speaking clearly. You're wasting time, whoever you are, I need your help. This is bad. She's not answering her door and she isn't at work now. And Anna always notifies when she isn't coming in, even when she's five minutes late. Well, she did lose her phone. Pretty sure she'll find a way to call the office this time around, not a word. It's not like her at all. That video you claim to see, you sure it's Anna. Anna's a girl on a wallpaper, right? And she didn't say anything about where she is. Or what happened to her. She said, don't find me. That, that was one of the most important things, is when somebody says, don't find me, that means that something seriously fucked up has happened. Like, you, you know, if you've gone missing and you saying, you're saying, don't find me, that's not good. I swear if you're making this shit up, damn it. Who are you exactly? Okay, I know how this all looks. I'm Greg Summers, Anna's boyfriend. We had a small disagreement. Now she's not talking to me. Right! Anything in her phone that indicates where she might be? Her jabber. She updates it all the time. Can you peek, take a peek at it, see where she went? So both her and- so both him and Taylor are saying go look on her jabber. Is that legal? Hey, something might not happen to her. It's just to peek to her jabber and we could physically track her to see if, we, if everything is alright. All I need is one face-to-face -face conversation with her. How long has she stopped talking to you? Weeks we had a disagreement. I'm just being the good guy. I tried to give her space. She now treats me like I don't exist and it's getting on my nerves. Maybe Anna deserves better than you, dude. Listen, Wisecrack, you don't know her and you definitely don't know me, so how about you keep your opinions to your damn self? Yeah, yeah, fine, be that way. Let's get back on track, figure out where she could be. She is in talks with this Taylor guy on Spark. Already talking to other guys, but the fuck, fuck, I don't want to know. I will deal with it when I find her. I think Jabber is our only option. Just look through it and let me know the last post she did. Can't you check it herself? She blocked me. I can't see shit. Just let me know when you find something, okay? Be quick. Alright, and then Taylor. It's wrong to share personal info. You're no fun. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess we have to do this. I don't know her password, so we're gonna say forgot password. Because we can just go to her mail and reset it. So what is your pet's name? So... Toby, you know, Tobias, I guess, was the cat, right? So, we'll say Toby. What is your mom's maiden name? Here's how you find this. I already know this, but... From Lauren Hardy at Seamail. So this is assuming, then, that her mom's, like, not married or something, or, like... What is your favorite movie? So, I already know the answer to this, but I'm going to have to figure this out a different way because I want you guys to see any idea what Anna's first choice of movies is. If we are back to speaking terms, how long were you two dating? Two years. What does that have to do with anything? Why do you want to know her favorite movie anyway? I can ask Jabber with this info. Oh, you're so close. Her best friend Ashley might know. Text her Badoo with Xana. If she, she might freak if she finds out a stranger is using Anna's phone, so let's keep this under wraps. Do I really have to? Yes, just try to make not to make her suspicious. It's easy. Just get what you need. Nobody need to know what happened. You're her boyfriend and y'all have been dating for two years and you don't well I take that back. Like my boyfriend and I have been dating for like five almost six years now. Like, the thing is, taste in movies actually will change um, pretty often. Um, like, I have several favorites, one of which is, like, Watchmen. Um, I mean, it depends on my mood. Like, there's different kinds of genres that I will watch. Like, and I have, like, best ones for, like, each mood. So, like, if I'm, like, having, like, questionable, like, things going on with my career, like, or, you know, with work, I will um, put on The Devil Wears Prada because... I, I don't know why I like that movie so much, so it's really funny. But that that kind of thing changes, like, sometimes, so. Hi, Ashley. Um, Anna, OMG, you won't believe what I just saw. You can't tell anyone that I told you. I promise. 
I know you're thinking of talking about Greg, but I saw Yolanda at my building holding a Ferris and Kane footwear bag. So Greg and Yolanda had something to do with each other. So I walked up to her, played it cool, pretend to ask for her card and stuff, right? Turns out that skank buys stuff for other people. I didn't realize a job like that even existed. Sounds you... kind of lame, don't you think? Sucks the fun out of shopping. Like, what if you want to return something? You return it to them or they will return it on your behalf? Shopping is pretty straightforward. Why would anyone complicate things? Also, she looks fine. I don't think she's... Maybe she dealt with it. Dealt with what? Okay, several things about this. Um, first and foremost, um, the way this was, like, spoken was, like, really odd. Like, the stressed syllables and shit. Um, it just sounded very odd to me. But, um, personal shoppers are a thing, and it's often for rich people. So, actually, yeah, it's kind of, like, a pretty, uh, pretty lucrative sort of line of work because you're working for people who have enough money to have people to do their shopping for them. Like, and of course now this has trickled down to grocery stores and you pay a fee every time that you get your groceries bought, you know, by, you know, picked by somebody else. We have this at the grocery store I work at, you, you know, you just come in and you pick it up. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, personal shoppers are really not that like big a deal, but of course, um, I remember when I was uh, looking at somebody else's playthrough of this, that this is in the UK. So I don't know how things work over there, but I imagine personal shoppers were like a thing. Like, I don't know. But anyway, and she looks fine. She dealt with it. Um, that's odd. Maybe she got pregnant or something. Ah, oh, you're right. I don't want to hear about that. Sorry, last time I promised you wanted to say something. Yes, let's just go right for that question. No. I uh, feel like girls like night in tonight. Hells yeah. I'll get some ice cream and put my favorite movie on. A dog's purpose again. Ice cream does sound amazing balls though. But I can't tonight. Pile of to do's. Next time Pinky promise. Speaking of dogs in the shower now, I smell like a wet one. Yo. Unusual login attempt notification. IP addresses don't look like that. <laughs> I would know. I'm an IT major. So, a dog's purpose. I could have just gone ahead and typed it in right away, but I wanted to show you guys how to get to that answer if you were unsure of it, if you decide to play this. Okay. How do you win a war on drugs? It's hard to win a war without drugs as it is. Um, no? I have opposite dark and light, light and dark and painting. It's like in life. Gotta have a little sadness in a while so you know when the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times now. Did Bob Ross actually say that? Somehow I don't think so. Super productive day. I only nap two times during work. My dentist asked his assistants to suck the water out of my mouth thinking he was talking to me so I sucked his finger. I'm terrifying. <laughs> what the fuck? Any, <laughs> any dentist recommendation somewhere in my area would be great. Dude. Okay, then. Oh, shit. Oh, Anna just made a new post. Uh <laughs> God damn it, it gets me every fucking time! <laughs> I think I got a lead. She literally just made a new post. Awesome, send it to me. I like how there's a folder just for Jabber. That's her place, so she's at home. Then why is she answering me? She's still there. Should have known, I'm gonna have a look because it's gonna take a while, so stay put. Hey, hey, you need your post. Saw your Jabber post and it looks like you're home. I want to check something. Sure, what is it? Remember I told you about my watch? Can you check it? Out? Check if it's at your place. I can't seem to find it. Where did you last put it? Check by the sink. I remember taking it off in the bathroom. I will check later. 
No warriors. Let me check. Can you see that? Okay. Holy messages, Batman. Sorry, last one real quick. You sound a little off. I'm just getting this feeling that there's something you're not telling me. I just want to remind you that you can tell me anything. You know that, right? No matter what, I'll still be here. Okay? Feel better soon. Oh, we're actually such a good friend. Okay, I'm gonna deal with that in a minute. Are you all? Are you a very careful business owner that desires all-around security? Ashley is so adorable. We were on the phone for hours, and I only said like two words. And like a good bestie, I sat through the entire thing. I don't know what it is about her and guys. She's always, I don't know, self-conscious about it? I'm not like that with Greg. Should I be? I mean, he's been good to me, I guess. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, like... She's kind of going through some stuff, it seems like. Okay, I'm here. I need your help to get into her place. Anna blocked my card. So immature. No, I think she just doesn't want somebody in her house that is, like, going to be an asshole. So to get my copy to work, I need to register as a guest, but they need the authorization code. And it has to be done through Anna's phone. This is a security company you have to text. People use this to request temporary access for house guests. Send the code when you get it. Make sure you enter my full name. Don't make me wait. Okay. Oh. Ah. Help. Invite guest. Greg Summers, right? The only thing that sucks about this is anytime you hit backspace, it deletes the entire thing. Okay, so we got the thing. And then select access code, chat images, boom, send. Done. It works in the lift now. I can't believe my card won't work. Yeah, definitely UK. Anybody who says lift isn't from the UK or somewhere other than America. I can't believe my card won't work anymore. She gave this to me on our first anniversary and I earned, said I earned a frequent flyer card. Oh God, I hope she's home. Okay, I'm at her doorstep now, but something's wrong. What? I can hear someone inside. Doesn't sound like her. I'm going in. Be careful. Something's wrong. There was this voice or sound. Fuck, I'm recording this. TV? Nope, it switched off. The cat is gone too. I don't see Toby anywhere. Anything that stands out? Her place is a mess. Oh, well, I was thinking... Like, like anything that sounds stands out as far as noise. Her place is a mess. There's stuff all over the floor. She's really fussy about keeping th things organized. A robbery. Her laptop is still here. Nothing else is missing. Her laptop is still warm. It's dour. She definitely posted something from here. Where the hell is she? Her notebook is here. I'm going to take a look. What did you hear? I have no idea what I just heard. Listen for yourself. Sounds like talking. It's kind of creeping. Some of this doesn't feel... Some, all of this just doesn't feel right. Something weird is going on. Okay. Well, that's weird. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Okay. Shit. 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 What did you do? What did I do? The phone's gonna reset itself. Reset like a factory reset. Don't you dare delete anything. I need as much info to find Anna. I'm on a clock here. What is happening? You said data is reset. Why didn't it happen? It's on Anna's laptop. Okay. Stop talking and start helping. Okay, I can't remember how to work this. Same software she got for me. Tell me what you see. There's her cat's name, her company's name, her Iris OS name. Okay, so Tobias. 
company's name is Faraday. And applesauce. Okay. All of those things can be found either in the emails or in the gallery. Um, uh oh. Did it reset itself anyway? Rebooting. Oh, don't tell me it reset itself. That would suck. Oh no. What? This phone belongs to Major Arlene. Hello, Major Arlene. Let's get started. How old are you? I am 22. Where is your home country originally? United States. Are, a new, are you a new user or an experienced user? Experienced. If needed, would you like to manually configure new settings or allow the phone for you to do it automatically? Manual, I don't trust you. Do you like to back up your phone often or occasionally? I do occasionally. Do you like to sleep late or sleep early? Um, early because I have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning. What is your favorite kind of smell? Why is there a toilet there? Coffee. The smell of coffee is always good. You can never go wrong with coffee. What part of an animal do you prefer to eat? Thigh or ribs? Thigh. Tell me about your saddest moment in life. I'm gonna make up some kind of bull- well, I could make up some kind of bullshit, but... Probably one of the saddest moments that actually did happen to me was when I had to put down my dog. Are you paranoid that your phone or laptop camera might be recording your every move? Um, yes. If anyone can only tell the truth all the time, do you think this would make the world a better or worse place? I don't know. Like, that's a good question, though. Um. I'd probably want to say. Oh my god, but that would leak, like so many horrible things about things that are going on, but we could fix them at least, because then we'd know what was going on. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah, sure! Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Well, if I were to know the date, and, like, if it would, would be tomorrow, like, it wouldn't matter anyway. I mean, if we're gonna die, all gonna die one day, so... How we die is totally un unknown at this point, for most of us anyway. Would you rather lose your mind or all of your limbs? Well, if I were to lose all of my limbs, I would probably end up losing my mind anyway. But you're making the assumption here that we would not lose our mind if we lost all our limbs, so whatever. If you look behind you right now, would you rather see a floating disembodied head or a headless god? Okay, just had to make sure. Um. Actually, this is so funny because it's sort of like reminiscent of um, this old game called uh, Witch, where you would have this like headless body following you around all the time. And once she got her head back on, you would end up dying anyway, so probably headless body. Like, can I touch her? No? You agree to surrender all your personal data to Iris OS for further improvement of our experience and of your experience and other services at our discretion. But all of it, though? Uh, no. But if we know more about the user, we can help you find them in case you, they go missing. Don't you agree? Well, I mean, you have other things, other places your personal data is stored other than your phone. Like, oh, too bad for Anna. There. What? Thank you. Your phone is not ready to be used. In Thanks. Welcome, Major Arlene. You are all set up as a user of Iris OS. We are always one step ahead in providing you with the support you need at your utmost convenience. Uh, for access to other services, please access. Please log in with your Iris email given below. Should you need any further experience, 
further assistance, you can t contact our nearest support center at the United States. At United States. Have a good day. Always watching your review articles. Okay. Hello, my darling. Welcome to Chad's room. The default mode sitting are powered by Iris OS. This service is complimentary one year from the state. After that, a yearly f subscription fee will be charged. Hope to be a continuing service to you. Remember, we are always watching every year. You, you, your ID is Baker96. Sure, why not? You, you, uh, Who are you? Um, yeah. Unlikely for long, it's voice to Voice? The one, the many, it's voice, it's voice, do not worry. You must resist its words. I'm not making any sense. This, something is wrong. You are not Anna. Yes, you are right. I am not Anna. This is not Anna. No. Freaky shit for one day. Um, I think I'm gonna cut it here. <laughs> Holy crap, that was terrifying. It's terrifying every single time I play this game, because I've played it several times now. Um, but it's still fucking terrifying. It is. So, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Majorlene. Over and out.